murdered. Right behind you, partner. Raiden, what news of the Ghost Song clan? Your sister led the clan to Lost Valley. I was about to join them. Who's the outsider? An ally against the Grey Host. I'll let them tell you themselves. An outsider walking alongside the great and powerful Arana. That's not a sight I thought I'd see today. An outsider come to fight outsiders. I wish you hadn't brought your war here in the first place. Speaking with Nathari is going to be difficult, even if she... That's just what the Reach folk call it. It isn't actually lost. We know exactly... I'm not sure. But I'm no witch. Let's ride. I'm off to Lost Valley. If you want to find your sister... I lost Valley, Nathari. What are you planning, my sister? Stop! Greyhost scout has been pulled to pieces. Raiden must have gotten here ahead of us. I'd recognize his handiwork anywhere. The Nords built their barrow over the caves that were once used by my ancestors. If they haven't, my mother had the entrance to the barrow concealed when I was a young girl. No one has used it since before I was born. It's like the Grey Host is guarding this place. Lady Belaine said that no one is to interfere. Remain vigilant. Let's go! Destroy the intruder! What does it say? Even an old sack might have treasure inside.
Well? Do those scratchings on paper tell you anything about what the Grey Host is doing in Lost Valley Redoubt? I never should have let Nathari push me aside. She was always drawn to darkness, even as a girl. The Dark Heart again. According to the prophecy, death awakens the Dark Heart. The full telling requires hours. We don't have time for that, so I'll be brief. <laughs> The borrow entrance is just ahead. The entrance should be here somewhere. Look around. Ah, you found the rock. That's actually the door, but it will only open for a ghost some witch. Well, look at that. I've still got it. Dark magic. Rising all around us. Nathori must have started the ritual. Split up! No! What have you done? The hour is upon us, dear sister. You must feel it. The darkness. You sacrificed our own people. Oh, poor Sagan. I should have expected Arana to take up with outsiders. She and every one of them gave up their life willingly. They gladly died to awaken the dark heart from its slumber. You sound like Braden. True believers see the honor in this sacrifice, but not everyone can overcome the fear that whispers in their ears. Why does this matter to you, outsider? The ghost song hunters, the true hunters, gather below, ready. The clan chose me, Arana. The Spirit Queen demands death, and I shall give it to her. Damn it. I should never have left. No, I can't allow this. We need to find Brayden and the others. This is horrible. Nathari has convinced herself that she's doing the will of the Spirit Queen. And she... Aye. That seems to be the long and short of it. The Dark Heart will beat again, and its power will surge up from the deep places to consume everything. Its darkness will cover the world. The prophecy talks of death and destruction. But it also says that those who embrace it will be spared. The old matrons mentioned a ritual cave deep within the burrow. It must be this way.
done this, Nathari will bring ruin upon the entire clan. Senan, not you too, old friend. I'll step beside him. What do those scratch marks tell you? Not many of my clan learned the scratchings, but Senan could read and write the Imperial language. As we've seen, Nathari has convinced some of the clan to support this mad endeavor. I. I remember that from the stories. Uh We need to hurry. Fight? Good. The dark heart stirs. You can't stop the prophecy from being fulfilled. If we die this day, we shall live forever! What's on your mind?
you. Nathari's ideas were folly, but this? With her own hand, she gave her kin to the darkness? Nathari was a friend once, before she became obsessed with the old ways. If Lady Belaine put her on that path, then I've got a score to settle with her. Aye, we'll fight. There aren't many of us left, but most of us are werewolves. Lady Belaine will regret the day she turned our own witches against the clan. That... This isn't your fault, Arana. Nathari could only see her own visions, hear her own spirits. Nathari's madness was her own, Arana. Let's hit the trail. This is what you bring us, Arana. Right the news that Lady Belaine was invoking the prophecy of the Dark Heart. I never expected it to lead to the decimation of my old clan. The prophecy says it takes more than a handful of deaths to awaken the Dark Heart. Oh, Nathari got something to stir, but I think Lady Belaine just used her to test the waters. The darkness responded, though. Practice makes the master. There you are. That darkness Arana mentioned? I think we found it. Verandas has been studying that dark energy down in the library of Arkansand, trying to figure out what Radha al Saran and Lady Belaine have planned. Look, I'm no scholar. I barely believe in the stuff and I hardly understand it. But the void is the place outside the places. The darkness beyond Mundus and Oblivion. Well, that would explain it. You might have stopped it from fully awakening, but Verandas says something has changed. Night Hollow Keep is down in Blackbridge, east of the library of Arkansand. It must have been impressive once, but it's falling into ruin now. Apparently, it was the seat of power for an ancient vampire clan, the Night Hollow. All that's left... I'll meet you down in yeah. Blackbridge.
No remorse. This is a great area for harvesting. Timing, man. The pockets of energy we discovered in the library of Aksan. The pockets of energy we discovered in the library of Aksan. They're even stronger here. The void energy permeates that ancient. Pockets of interesting. The dark heart hasn't fully awakened, but I did feel it stir. Very little, I'm afraid. The whole idea of a kingdom of ancient vampire clans hiding in the depths of Blackreach. Let's you and I split up and search the keep while Gwendis returns to Markarth. We know Lady Belaine has something in mind for the city, and one of us should be close at hand. One of my talents involves auromancy magic. Certain inanimate objects, especially items that hold significant personal value, can become imbued with the auras of those who possess them. I don't see how. Radha al Saran was a Yakudan swordmaster before he came to Tamriel. His a good question. We know that Radha promises freedom to the Grey Host. Important events and powerful emotions leave a mark. Now, Gwendis. You know I never ask anything without good reason. Our car is in danger. Fine. But when the real action starts, I won't sit on the side and let you deal with it. 